Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be a bit of a familiar video because I'm actually going to install these carbon fiber Ganondor mirrors onto my Evo 10. Now I did make a video recently installing a set of these onto Letitia's red Evo 10. So rather than just doing the same video, which obviously I wouldn't do, um, I thought I'd make this more of a tutorial of how to protect your carbon fiber that you've bought for your car, exterior carbon fiber especially, um, to protect it from the sun. You see a lot of carbon fiber pieces where the clear coat has just gone, they've gone completely chipped up of clear coat, or they've gone yellow, they've off colored, and they're not looking like they should. You're having to spend money to go get them redone by a painter. So we're trying to minimize that chance. So what I do every time I buy carbon fiber piece is I ceramic coat it before I install it. So I will have a link to this in the description to everything I'm gonna use here. I'll show you guys how to do it. So this is CarPro C-Quartz UK 3.0. This is the coating that I use on the cars. Um, seems to last around 18 months to two years, depending on how you maintain the coating. But in that 18 months to two years, that is 18 months to two years of just water completely beating and sheeting away from the paint, making it super easy to wash um, and protecting the clear coat from the harsh sun we have here in Queensland. So any carbon fiber um, parts, like I said, I ceramic coat them straight away. So this is just like a leftover bottle that I have from doing the paint. It's still got a fair bit left in there, so I'm able to reuse and protect any future parts that I get, which is what I'm doing here. So I'd recommend if you guys are buying carbon fiber parts that are expensive, spend the extra, this is Australian dollars, spend an extra $90, buy a bottle of that. It'll come in a box with everything you need. Um, but so yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I'll run through what you will need. Um, firstly, set of gloves, always wanna wear these when you're using a ceramic coating. Um, I, like I said, it comes with everything. I personally use these little applicators that I've bought. Um, just these will be a lot easier to use to get into some of these areas rather than the foam block with the suede piece over it. It's just easier. So I'm just gonna use one of these, but yeah, these are just cheap. Buy them from a detailing shop. Um, you're going to need to clean first. So if this is a carbon fiber piece that has already been on your car and already dirty, you're gonna to need to give it a good decon. So um, yeah, get something like a degreaser to strip anything off it. These are brand new, so they should be fine. So I'm just gonna be using some CarPro eraser to spray and wipe basically to get any fingerprints, oils, um, anything that has come into contact with these. This will easily just wipe off and allow the coating to bond. And lastly, some microfiber cloths. Um, these are just really cheap ones. You buy a box of 50 of these. So I go through these a fair bit. Um, so I'm just gonna be using one to wipe off the CarPro eraser. And once that is completely flash dry and we put the coating on with our little applicator pad and we'll wipe off with that, throw that towel away. We'll do a second coat after an hour. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'll sort of quickly explain as well. So come over to my shelves here. So I have a, if you didn't know, I have a detailing, car detailing YouTube channel as well. So I'm testing a lot of different products um, all the time. But so when you think ceramic coating, some of you might think something like this. So this is Turtle Wax Ceramic Spray Coating. This is not what you wanna do if you've just spent money on a carbon fiber piece. This is not going to protect it. This stuff lasts at about six weeks for me. And I did a test comparing with some other products. Um, it's just, it doesn't have the same chemical resistance compared to a coating. It doesn't last. So yes, it's about 30 bucks for 500 mils um, and you could redo it constantly. I would recommend just go buy yourself. This is the box that'll come in. Box of ceramic coating, $90 and you will be very happy with the life you get and then you can redo it, buy another bottle in two years, no problems at all. But yeah, I thought I'd point out, don't go and do something like this, this ceramic coating uh, to your carbon fiber. It's just not going to last. It's not going to, even though the things they tell you, it'll last you know, six months to a year or something. It's just, it doesn't um, and it's not going to protect like a proper ceramic coating is. So yeah, I thought I'd point that out. But with all that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting the coating on these. So I'll get some gloves on and I'll spray them down and we'll um, show you exactly how it's done. Very easy to do. And then at the end, I'll chuck them on the car and show you guys how it looks. Um, not really gonna show you how to install them because I've already done that. But yeah, with that said, let's just get into it. All right guys, so got some gloves on. We've got our, got our CarPro eraser. So give it a bit of a shake up. I'm just going to spray liberally onto these mirrors and microfiber cloth and I'm just going to 
basically wipe off. So you can see there's a little bit of dust on there and stuff, some black coming through. So yeah, they needed a little bit of a wipe down, but nothing crazy. But we just want to make sure, thoroughly wipe them over, give them a really good clean. Hopefully you guys can see, I do just have the camera set up to film. And then this stuff is alcohol based, so it will flash off. <clears throat> but we'll probably grab a second microfiber and just wipe back over them. That is clean. So yes, yeah, super easy. Quick little clean. This whole process is, to be honest, really easy to do. Anyone can do it. If you want to start doing ceramic coatings, the best thing is to start off on small stuff like this. So, and just to be safe, let's just go back over, in case we missed any spots. Give them a really thorough clean, but yeah, that's basically all, for something brand new, all you're really going to need to do. So there we go, nice and clean. So with that done, we will just give it a couple of minutes for this to completely dry and flash off. But that's all the prep that we need to do for this stage. If, like I said, this is something that's already been on your car and you're wanting to coat it, then just clean it first with like a degreaser or something just to get any dirt, dust, anything just that is on there off, especially if it's got some sort of other wax or sealant on it. Um, clean it thoroughly. Then use something like this and then you can go ahead with the coating. But with that done, we're pretty much ready to move on. So, yeah, we would get one of our applicators, get a coating, and we'll start. But I'll just give these a couple of minutes to completely dry, and we'll come back once I'm ready to start coating. All right, so we're ready to coat. Just thought before I show you guys, because I'm using one of these little applicators, I thought I'd show you, if you just bought the kit that, I, you know, that I'm suggesting, it'll come with this foam block, which has the um, sort of soft on the one side, hard on the other side. So it'll come with these, not these ones, these different brand, but it'll come with a pack of um, suede applicators. You'll actually just grab one, wrap it around. It's got a little slit there for you to basically use a credit card or something to slide it in. And then with it wrapped around it, you would then wipe over. That's great for a car, um, but for something like this with these little intricate areas, not the best. So you'd probably just use this without the block. Um, and then just probably such a large area for you to try and get the coating on. Probably going to waste some. So easiest to just use something like this. Previously, I have used like makeup removal wipes, um, but they did give a little bit of linting. So these I've bought, I haven't tried these out yet, but these I've bought from a detailing shop. They were like, I don't know, 50 cents each or something, but I figured these will be a better option. So I'm gonna give them a go. But yeah, with that said, let's actually get into it. So make sure you give your coating a very, very thorough shake. I've shaken this a fair bit already. Um, open it up. If you've used it previously, it is going to have some like glass-like pieces left over because the coating does dry hard. So just be careful of that, trying to get that onto your pad. But basically what we wanna do is just pour some out. So that's actually heaps, I didn't see it was coming out at the start. Put your lid straight back on the coating bottle so you don't wanna to get too much air in there. So then we are just going to wipe over our mirror. Now I'm unsure if you guys can see that going on or not. It's definitely got a strong smell. So try to if possible, wear some, you know, something to uh, a ventilator or something. I don't have anything, I'm stupid, but uh, yeah. So normally when you're applying these, you would want to go in like a crosshatch pattern. I'm just gonna put a little bit more on this. Don't mind if I use too much really, because this is the end of a bottle. But you're going to crosshatch pattern, so it's in one way, and then the other way. Um, this is such a small little piece that it's kind of hard 
but we just want to make sure we get full coverage so just be super careful that you go absolutely everywhere and that is also the reason we're going to do two coats as well so anywhere we happen to miss on our first coat we will be able to go back with our second coat but as you're applying you can see i don't know if the camera's going to pick up but you can actually see it's pretty thick as it goes on and it will actually flash and go like a rainbowy effect as it starts to um, be ready to be wiped off. So you've got about, usually about a minute before it gets that. So yeah, enough time. You've got, you've got plenty of time to basically apply it before you need to wipe it off. So I'm just worried about whether I got into these sections. One thing I've noticed when I'm filming and talking, I just don't really pay as much attention. So hopefully I've got everywhere just flip this over, get this back. Sorry if I'm constantly taking these out of where you can see them, where I have the camera set up, but just trying to be thorough. So, I'm going to say, now say I got everywhere. So now I'm going to give that a minute. Put our pad down. I'm going to give that a minute. We're going to wait for the rainbowy effect. It's kind of like an oil, when oil drops into water, that slicky, you know, multiple rainbow sort of color effect it gets. That's kind of what these will do, um, coating will do once it is ready to be wiped off. Now, on carbon fiber, it might be hard to see, but if I can see it, I will pick the camera up and show you guys. All right, guys, it's been a couple of minutes since I applied the coating. I actually did the other mirror off camera over here. Um, and just being how bright it is in here at the moment, not really seeing the oily effect that we want to see. Um, so it's been, yeah, it's been like close to three to four minutes, which is about as, as long as I want to leave it before wiping it off because the longer you leave, if you leave it too long, it's really hard to wipe off wipe it off too soon, it's really hard to wipe off. So I'm just gonna go for it. So basically we get ourselves a fresh microfiber. And if it's nice and easy to wipe off, which this is, then it means it's about right. So yeah, it's harder to see on carbon sometimes, especially under certain lights, but you're looking for like the rainbowy effect that it gives, um, which I could see a little bit with my eyes, but just on camera, it wasn't really showing through. So I thought there's no point in trying to wait too long and show you guys. But basically what you want to do is very thoroughly make sure you wipe it all off. If you leave any spots where you didn't wipe it, what you'll be left with is called a high spot. And it's very obvious in certain lights. You can see a patch, which is just, yeah, it's, you'll know it when you see it. Um, and to remove it, you basically have to like sort of machine polish it off. So you don't want to do that. So the easy thing to do is just make sure you very thoroughly wipe it off. So get in absolutely everywhere. It's super easy. If you wait the right amount of time, it wipes off like wax, basically. It's so easy. I don't know about every coating. I'm just talking the one that I'm using here anyway, the CarPro one, which is their consumer grade coating. Anyone can buy it. They do have some pro range ones. Um, they might be a bit trickier to remove. Um, but yeah, this one, just super easy. So there we go. I think we've about wiped everywhere. And I mean, it's hard to say, but immediately it's glossier. So it's not only protecting, it's going to add a lot of gloss and just make the water just run straight off it. So there we go, there's one, there's one coating, one layer, I guess done. So I'll sit that there. I'll grab my other one, which I did off camera. See if we're getting any rainbowy effect on that one. No, this one needs a little bit longer yet. I'm not really seeing it with my eyes and in the camera, I can't see anything. So yeah, we'll give this one another minute to flash. But basically, that's it. That's one layer done. I'm gonna do two, like I said, but it'll be the exact same thing. We just need to wait an hour in between coats. So this will sit for an hour. This other one, once I wipe it off, sit for another hour. I'll just put a timer on come back, do a second coat, wipe that off, done. 
All the, the only thing you need to then worry about is don't get it wet for 24 hours. I'm going to apply them. I'm going to put gloves on. I'm going to wait till later tonight to apply them. Um, so I'll come back to this later. I'm going to give it about eight or so hours to cure before I put my hands back on it. Um, then I'm going to apply to the car and to show you guys, like I said, I won't do a video. The video is not about how to apply them. I would just like to show you how they look um, once they're on the car because I'm stoked with them. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm gonna wipe this one off and come back to you guys. I won't show the second coat because it's the exact same process. But I'll come back to you guys later tonight when it's time to install them. All right guys, it's a couple of hours later. Um, wash the car because one of the things I didn't mention with ceramic coating is that after you apply it, you can't get the you can't get whatever you've coated wet for 24 hours and you can't actually wash it for around seven days. That is with the coating I'm using anyway. Um, and then you don't want to use any harsh chemicals for about 30 days. That is to let it fully cure. So because my car was filthy, I decided to give it a wash before um, fitting these mirrors. And then I thought, you know, a fair few of you guys are going to be curious about the weight difference. I did have a mate who was looking at getting a set of these as well, asked me about the weight differences. Um, I was running the APRs though. So those are the lightest option, but I figured I've taken one mirror off and about to put the the Ganador one on. I figured I'd um, just weigh them. So, I mean, using some kitchen scales, um, using this bit of cardboard for something to sit them on, but so the APR is 379 grams. So, yeah, very, very light. Nothing to this at all. Um, so, yeah, I like them. I actually really like them, but I had always wanted the Ganadors. So, let's try these out. And safely place that on. We are 574 grams. Yep. And then I. Sorry, camera just stuffed up. And then, then lastly, we have the OEM one with a carbon fiber. Now, this one's going to be tricky to place with a carbon fiber cap on it. Okay, there we go. And it is. 1.96 kilos so yeah around double the weight and close to triple the weight basically for the apr so there you go there's the the weight differences between the three now i'm going to put the camera down i'm actually going to chuck the ganadors on the car so if you are um, keen to see how they're installed go check out the video where i did that the store rather than repeating myself making the same video twice this one's more going to be about the um, ceramic coating of them so yeah, I'm gonna fit them and then I'll reverse the car out and show you guys how it looks because I'm definitely keen to see and keen to see what you guys think about it. So yeah, pick the camera back up in a couple of minutes after I put these on. All right guys, one more little interruption before I show you the completed finished product of it on the car. But yeah, there you go, there is one. So I've got the driver's side on and absolutely love it. And I've had to actually do the same things I did for Letitia, get this J panel also in carbon fiber, which I've already ordered. Got that one coming from eBay, and yeah, hopefully it's here pretty soon because it does look a little odd, um, not matching. But before I move the other APR, remove the other APR mirror. I thought, let's get a comparison. So Ganador APR. So which one do you think looks best? I I know that everyone doesn't love the APRs. Um, I really do actually like them. They're just so small, but you see so much still because they've got like a wide angle sort of. Um, lens type look on them um, and they're just so light and it just I don't I don't like the stock mirrors I feel like they're too bulky so I've always been looking for something aftermarket but the Ganadors were my ultimate um, since we filmed um, Kish's car a while ago it was an Evo 10 MR in like titanium grey colour um, and he had genuine Ganador mirrors on it colour matched that's why I wanted to go colour matched so I really really have loved them always liked them on other cars but first time I saw them on an Evo 10 in person I knew I wanted them just then realized how expensive they were and didn't really realize you could buy reps. So um, but yeah, so here is the APR. So yeah, I think they look way better than the stock mirrors. And if I didn't have the Gamadors as an option, I would just stick with them. Um, yeah, a few people I know have these and love them. They are just like a cool touch. They just, yeah, so much smaller. When you see the car from the front with both, it looks really good, but yeah, I'm thinking this is even better. I'm absolutely loving these. So yeah, here we go, we've got one on. God damn, it looks good. Suits the car so well. 
So yeah, I'm gonna get this other APR one off, chuck the other Ganondorf mirror on, and reverse the car out and just have a good walk around and look at it. All right guys, so there you go. They are fitted up and absolutely love them. They look so good. I am, yeah, beyond stoked. It's definitely suits the car really well. I feel like they almost even suit the car better than they do on Letitia's. Um, but yeah, I am completely in love with how good they look. So yeah, the car is just like really getting there now. I'm getting close to being exactly what I want out of it. There's a few more things to come, but really how it looks, how it performs, um, it's just, yeah, I still can't believe it's actually mine and it's gotten to this stage. Uh, yeah, so it's a quick little walk around. It's like from the front, it looks so aggressive. So definitely just need this to arrive now in carbon to finish the look. So yeah, the only downside is I do need to get the um, the electric part hooked up pretty soon because in Letitia's car they're actually set up perfect. You don't even need to adjust them. In mine, unfortunately, this one looks up a fair way. So I just reversed the car out and you can notice straight away that you yeah, have to sort of see out this side. You kind of need to put your head up pretty high to see. But um, so yeah, we'll get a mate who is good with electric and wiring and all that sort of stuff to come over and help me finish that because that is not something I can do. But yeah. So the one thing is um, I now have an extra set of these. So I'm gonna have to sell those off to try and get some money back. So basically I've bought three sets now, two in carbon fiber and one in the plastic, um, which is just like raw plastic. So yeah, I think I'm gonna put those up. So if any of you guys, I should have grabbed them out and so I could have them and show you, but they're basically white plastic. Um, I'll put a photo up on the screen. Any of you guys interested in buying them, um, gonna take a bit of a loss on them can get them new, I believe it is $800 from Shift Performance, which is where I bought these. Um, I'll sell them for $700 um, and you can pay shipping. I'm gonna put them up in a few local groups that I'm in here first or at the same time, I guess. Um, so yeah, first come, first serve. Um, they're 800 new, I'll sell them for 700. I mean, it'd be good to get 750. <laughs> I'll see how I go, but yeah, 750, 700, something like that. I'll be happy if I just take a $100 loss on them. I can deal with that. Um, but yeah, so if you guys are interested, um, send me a, a message on Instagram. Um, hope Australia only really. If you're in overseas, you want to get them shipped off, I'm happy to do it. Um, but it'd probably be cheaper for you to buy them over there. We'll see how we go. But yeah, send me a message on Instagram. Put that up on the screen now uh, if you're interested in picking those up. And yeah, other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It was mainly about the ceramic coating process. Um, but yeah, sort of really had to show them on the car so you could appreciate how good they look because yeah I am absolutely stoked so yeah with that said it's gonna be the end of the video there if you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you're not already and with all that until next time I'll catch you guys later <laughs>